Well, it's good to know that whenever we're setting up our target audience, it's good to know how many touch points do you want to have with this target audience. Um, because of course, customer journey is longer than just one touch point, most often, uh, unless you're hungry in a supermarket, of course. But uh, on average, you need eight touch points to get a customer to get relevant and get into action for your brand. So keep that in mind. So of course, if you already have a lot of brand awareness and you're just trying to fix like uh, a gap in the market and the relevance for the clients is already really high, then maybe you need less. Uh, sometimes you need more when your product is more expensive or the customer journey takes a longer period. So keep that in mind. In this example, uh, this is what we already decided. I wanna add the contact frequency and I put it here on three per level. So then we're at ad group level. So we want to build the target group here. Uh, when you're trying to set up the targeting, by default, it's on automatic targeting. So you're saying to TikTok, this is my brand, do whatever you want, uh, target whoever you want, uh, which could lead to really low KPIs, uh, but less relevant. So I would always recommend doing the custom targeting. Uh, also, I like to play with like A-B tests, building different segments, finding out more insights uh, for the target group as well. And this is a good way to do it. So you can set up your location um, for the people who are familiar with other platforms for TikTok. It's only um, available to target per country and not on a lower level. Uh, so this is a bit more broad than you're expected maybe. Uh, and the same goes for ages. Uh, you cannot really select a specific age, but just age buckets. So the age buckets start with 13 to 17 and then build up. So you cannot really specifically only target, for instance, uh, 18 year olds. In the right section, you have interest, uh, video interaction, a creator interaction and hashtags. This is for the top level. So for the C phase, this is an interesting one because here we want to build the demographics and the interest based targeting options. So we're trying to add interest. So this is also pretty broad compared to maybe an Instagram advertising, but you have certain categories which you can pick for your clients. Uh, this is an example of the drop down. Uh, maybe interesting for you to maybe scroll through, uh, look what maybe could be interesting for your clients. Then you also have the video interactions, which could, which could also really be interesting. Um, this means you can target people who already watch videos in the same category. So you want to, pe want to target people with the interest, but also maybe uh, watch a previous video of food related categories. So you can click here, people who liked a video in food categories or watched until the end. Uh, so it doesn't need to be videos of yours, but could be from competitors as well. And the same goes for creator interactions. So maybe you have like specific creators you're interested in um, you cannot really specifically target uh, one creator, but you can target categories of creators. So same goes here, um, dive into it and uh, maybe find out interesting categories to target for the creators as well. And then for the last one, the bottom one, the hashtag, hashtag interactions, um, this is free for you to use. So maybe hashtag for Uber Eats is I'm hungry, uh, I need food. Uh, whatever you can think of. Of course, it's good to do a research on the hashtags before, uh, but you can add them here. So to target people who are interested in those specific hashtags. All right, then we have the top funnel. We have filled for the targeting group. Then uh, looking at the think phase, we maybe want to target specific previous interaction of our own social media accounts or uh, who watched the video previously. This is something we can do uh, in this section, audience include and exclude. We can create a new audience, custom audience here, or, or we can go to assets and uh, audiences as well. So maybe you want to do a preset before building the campaign. This is also possible, uh, but you can also do it from the ads manager itself.